Hola, hi fashion doll lovers. My name is Christopher E. Bienvenidos to my channel. In today's video, I will be reacting, restyling, and reviewing Glorious Vanity Isabella from the Seven Sins online event by Integrity Toys. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and check that doll out, shall we? Now, as mentioned in my delightful indulgence video, this is the second doll that I was fortunate enough to win in the right to buy lottery. And I, what can I say? Just extreme gratitude, honestly, because the lotteries can be so tricky. And although I entered for some other things, we won't mention what's not here. Um, I was really having that moment of grace where I was glad I allowed myself to enter for more things than I probably had been able to accomplish and really allowed the Dolly universe to be like, okay, this is what we think you can do. And I was like, I receive it. I am grateful. Let's go ahead and do it. Why did I feel like it took so long to pick up the tissue paper? I'm not sure, but it's unnecessary. Now, for those that have not seen my previous video, this is what the box looks like in the front. It has our event logo, Seven Sins, limited edition right here at the top. And then in the bottom, it says official event collection. And the top, we have an Integrity Toys logo as well as in the bottom. No viewfinder, so I hope it was focused for you guys to see it. Then in the back, we have the same logo, 2023 Integrity Toys online event official event collection and then some of the like you know business information that they have to go ahead and post you know what i didn't notice that the when i did the other video is the branches for a moment i thought it was marble when i was looking at it from the thing but then i realized it's just branches which it's a beautiful 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 detail all right enough of the box because obviously i don't collect those i don't keep those we don't gotta stay there for too long Let's go look at the doll because that is what's very important. Of course. Now, breathe in, breathe out, flip the lid. Should I touch it first? Ooh. This was, okay, no, I'm not going to say it, but I think you can tell because I'm still closing my eyes. Okay, I'm ready. Ooh. Here's the inside of the lid. I showed it in my previous video, just showing it again for those that haven't caught that video. Here we have all of the seven things inside of the box. The insert of the box for the doll is red, and here she is. Oh, she is such a beauty. Something that I really love about Jesse, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it now, is I love when he gives us a face mold. I was gonna say the same mold and that's not it. I love when he gives us a face mold in different skin tones because it really shows how versatile, how versatile that face mold can be. Um, so far we've had three Isabellas but this is obviously the biggest departure. Um, same thing with Alejandra where there's been three Alejandras and all three of them have had a, a different skin tone if I'm not mistaken but those have kind of been very similar. He really like is able to Revitalize a doll, I think is the best way by giving her something different. And I just love this face mold on this skin tone and this color palette is just absolutely amazing. Whew, you know what? I'm gonna stop there because I really want to dig in. So let me give you a breakdown of what's about to happen for those that might be new around here. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox her off camera. We'll come back, we'll take a look at all of her items closely then i'll give you a look at what she was intended as and last but not least my favorite part of my videos the restock now without further ado let's get into the next section as standard we have a certificate of authenticity now this one does not actually have the edition size it just says alt 
Ultra Limited Edition, but there are no numbers on this one, which is quite interesting. I don't think I've seen one from Integrity without an edition size written in, so interesting um, observation there. As well as a doll stand with our Seven Sins logo at the bottom right there at so Nice square shape. Pretty, you know, basic, but we like the touch of the detail to remind us where we got her from. Isabella comes with a pair of holding hands as well as a diamond ring with a lavender stone. Her nails are in a metallic silver. We get silver strappy heels. The front of the heel seems to have like a plastic with some silver threading to make it look like diamonds. Love that effect. And keeping with the theme of the event, we get this snake cuff with a lavender diamond. We have these beautiful diamond earrings with a lavender stone in the center. Love this kind of like art deco vibe that they have. Really adds to a little bit of glamour but simplicity. Her purse is this clear clutch which I love. I really hope to see more of these in different colors. It has a magnet closure as so. You'll hear it when you close. And then she also comes with a lipstick and a compact right in the purse. I love that the purse is clear to see those details. I feel like a lot of times when we get the lipsticks and the compacts, they disappear depending on where you're storing them. So I think this is a beautiful way of showcasing them while still giving us all of the items that work so well. Great idea. She comes with this mirror accessory that has a handle as so right over here. Really, you know, it's that item that seems random, but ties in her theme of vanity. And now for the outfit. Very simple, but got me really excited because I knew the reference as soon as I saw it. We have a very simple tube top at the top. I'm not gonna use this too much, I don't think, because of where the closure is. If I rub on it too much, I feel like the sequence is gonna get messed up. So this is gonna be one of those items that is gonna come out for special occasion. And here we have the skirt with a slit at the back. Really nice detail, gray lining on the inside, beautiful little detail on the top. And something I noticed as I was undoing her, her underwear is built into the skirt, right as so right here. Because the skirt sits so low on her hips, it is a fabulous and very innovative idea to include that there. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Rainbow High Dolls. And that's not a diss, that's actually a compliment. And before we take a look at Isabella as she was intended, let's take a closer look at her screening and the master art that is this hairstyle. I spoke about the hairstyle in my video on the thoughts of the event, but here that she's in person, we can really take a look and appreciate it. Let me turn it around because from the back, it's truly where it is. This is art. I hope my camera just wants to focus, but I'm trying to show you guys everything. Let me move back a little bit. The intricate braiding, the beautiful, just, this is the kind of thing that really gets me lost for words, which is why I, I can't really explain it right now, because to take your time to make something like this, oh, please focus again, please focus again, please, there we go. I mean, look at that. I feel like she's also giving us a bit of Cleopatra with this hairstyle. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. And I really wanted to focus on the screening because something that I love about Jesse pretty much every time he releases a doll is how neutral the screening is. And again, I say this a lot, but it's really why I collect. I love to use my girls as models and I love for them to be able to use different clothing. So having really neutral screenings helps with that. So when I look at a doll, I always look at her screening first because that helps me indicate if she works in my collection or not because they're models in my house. And I need you to wear as many things as possible. So try to get a little closer. Nope, not going to focus. Not going to focus. Yeah, it's not going to do it. All right. Well, you know, we tried our best. Now, let's take a look at her as she was intended. And then we will take a look at the restyle. Mm -hmm. 